let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this moment that as we come before your presence, we desire that you may speak to each one of us through the word that has been read to us. I pray now that let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable unto you, our rock and our redeemer, Christ the risen Lord, we pray. Amen. Let be seated. As we look forward to the harvest next week, Sunday, from Deuteronomy chapter 16, 16 and 17, and 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7, I would like to share with you this morning under the theme, Celebrating the Goodness of God. Celebrating the goodness of God. There are a lot of things in our lives that we celebrate. Their birthdays, the anniversaries, we celebrate uh, a lot of things in our lives and sometimes uh, we might forget but the moment we remember that day, it brings joy in our lives. We celebrate things that makes us to feel good, that reminds us of something that, was, that happened on that day which was so great in our lives. We celebrate things that makes us to remember the people maybe that surrounded us on that day. And I know that even when we talk about good things like birthdays, uh, sometimes I wonder whether it is us to celebrate the birthday or our mothers who gave birth to us on that day. Because we were not there. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we celebrate this Mother's Day, which is so pronounced than the Father's Day. The fathers are so quiet, they don't like celebrating so much. So we have a lot of things that we celebrate. We celebrate our, our passing of our exams. We celebrate our promotions. We celebrate a lot of things. But when we look in the Bible from the Old Testament in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 16 describes the three things that God was reminding the people of Israel while they were in the desert before they entered the promised land. He had to give them these rules that on that day when they reach Canaan, when they have these things, the goodness, when they feel the goodness of God and they receive those blessings, there are three things that they are supposed to remember in a year. And surprisingly, of course, in the Old Testament, we are very much aware that telling because about 5,000. If it were a pen, there are others. Nangumu fi tekwa. If it tekwa, naba na, naba na kashi, bari pakut. Aba ume, bari pakut. So we are not surprised that even in Deuteronomy, God tells Moses that he should tell the people of Israel that three times in a year, every man should appear in the presence of God. Three times. And these three times are very, very important in the lives of the people of Israel. The first one was the unlivered bread. To celebrate when, they, when God helped them to come out of Egypt. And they, they, they were in a, in, in a hurry. And so they had not to, 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 to carry, to, to, to bake their bread in the manner that they bake, bread, they bake with yeast. So they had to carry unlivered bread. So they said, for you to remember this day, how I saved you from Pharaoh, how I, 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 I made you to move from the, from the Egyptians and to become free people. Remember this day. 
And every time, every man should come on this day and celebrate as they remember how I saved them from their enemies. And this day, we are always mindful that that's the day we always remember the Passover. We remember, we are remembering Jesus Christ's death on the cross of Calvary. So this was the first day. And God was telling them because, uh, the, the, the first feast to remember. God was telling them to celebrate this day. Because he knew that when they enter the promised land, there will be, there will be a lot and they will, they, will, they will be scattered in every uh, place. So even in the New Testament, you find that in celebrating the Passover, people were coming from different areas and gathered in Jerusalem, their capital city. Just like us, uh, the UCZ, our synod is in Lusaka. So when they are celebrating this, I'm, 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 I'm thinking of when you are celebrating the, the Passover, everyone from all over Zambia, they come to Lusaka just to celebrate this. That's what they used to do, uh, the children of Israel. Then the second one was the Feast of Weeks, which we are having this week. The Feast of Weeks was the harvest. When they harvest their corns, when they harvest whatever they have planted in their field, God told them that they should celebrate this, celebrating this goodness of God. If you were once in a foreign land where we were not free even to harvest, but we were slaves in Egypt. And they, they, they are there now in, the, in Canaan. They said, you should remember this time. You are a free people. You are even free to plant things. You are even free to harvest your own thing. So you should be celebrating this because there was a time and there was a time that in Shakwete provided for me even in the desert. Now that you are in the promised land, remember this that you should be celebrating whenever you harvest. And this is the, the feast. It was a feast. When they come together, they had to feast. Hallelujah. <laughs> So when they come together, they bring food and eat. And when they are eating in, six, in chapter 16, verse 11, it says, you include everyone, even the slaves that you have in your homes, let them eat together with you. Even the widows, the orphans, everyone, even in the streets, call them and eat together, celebrating the goodness of God. The last one was the Feast of Tabernacles. But I'm concentrating on the Feast of Weeks, which we are having today. In celebrating the goodness of God, today, as St. Matthews, as we prepare ourselves, the first thing is we, the people of Israel celebrated the goodness of God as their provider. Tell your neighbor that God is your provider. You know, sometimes you say, what can I celebrate? But the people of Israel were celebrating the harvest of wheat because they know that God is their provider. Even though he does not provide for me today, I have seen in my life and able to count that God really is my provider provider. Even though things are hard today, I'm able to look back and say, on that day, God provided for me. That's why, even I'm celebrating this, I'm not celebrating because of the current situation. Uh -uh. He has been my provider. 
fighter, Jehovah Jireh. So they were celebrating this. And they will come together and eat. So that even someone who she got a fia could ya lero on that day of Valesia, Valetia could have on such a pamo. No, she quit. I put her no in and Sara Adiaco, who she had ya for Caproni, now Adiaco, and be able to say, My God is my provider. That was the celebration. Because they were able to see and know that really there is none like God who can provide for us. When we look in our lives, you know the spouses that you have, you think it's just God who provided for you. Hallelujah. But as a queen, I want to marry you. God is your provider, even for your spouses. He provided for her. You know, things may be hard. I want to tell them that when you don't need an extension, not to shop. But even though not to shop, we should have a few shop. We are able to count to put a nap of a shop. God is still providing for me. God is still providing for me. When you talk about God the provider, we only have one angle of provision. But you are breathing, my sister. You have life, my brother. Is that not provision? Hallelujah. You are a home, a shelter to stay in. Where you are coming from. Is that not being God the provider? Hallelujah. So when God, when we are celebrating the harvest, it's about the goodness of God in our lives. You are able to remember that if it was not God, I wouldn't be like this today. Secondly, celebrating the goodness of God by being generous. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, be generous. <laughs> I don't know. God was telling the men, the men to go in the presence of God. And he tells them three times in a year. And when you come in the presence of God, he's commanding them in 16, 17, chapter 16, verse 17. He says, don't go in the presence of God empty. Handed. Tell your neighbor, don't come next week empty handed. <laughs> what about you now when we talk about being generous? But it's quite an old wimbo. Bushene mupina, ne mupera shi. Kanalika kumba Ndepele mpanga Ngana, ngana Liuwa mano Ndepele fiuma Chishi, chishi Nde mupe La Yesu mutima Wandi Pantu sha kwa tempanga nshaba chisunga pompanga no kuli manshirima ne chuma sha kwa ta no ba pantu shiri na mano nga na riwa mano no ba pantu shikwe ta mano echo dola pero muti mawant Hallelujah. Where is that for us to tell you? Nomba in the pantuna, mano, shakwata, where is? Echona, 
la kupelo mutima wandi There is a time to give the heart to God and there is a time to give what God has provided for you in your life Mwila filinga nya ah 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 Pantu no kwa tata tenga bwelo kufuma ku nchito Era na umfwe nsalama yo Era why say say no I love you I love I love you so tayo fuika Umuntu ali ne nsala Kutu aku kapolu bi Kalete ya kula na malavu yo yo So there is a time for everything So when they say giving the heart to God there is a time is stay up pass over yeah and live at bread the pass over and she that were pere mitima yesu kulires ila Christ that we did apa chapin na we remember that he died for each one of us that's a time we are mindful that let's give our hearts to God but when it comes to the harvest there is no heart here it's giving hallelujah can a finger is attacked by Allah unless you have not seen the hand of God in your life unless you have not seen God being your provider ukaleto mtima wobe erwe ngachishi nko kwacho kwa mitima bara be partner aleto mtima wandi ilo baisa kuno ku church batu ro mtima nokubwerera mo babwerera mwana wa kunganda mula usha ku church Bushe miti mafi okay nga badi tulira tufye miti mashibiri pano Bushe teti mushite ko endeke ba Saint Matthews Bari aba tule mba sende miti mashi abantu baya shitisha tempia sana shi So nga mwati mutule miti ma ile tuaya shitisha Tuaimba no rwimbo lye tule mishindika kulepa dziu mwechiri wechakale kunoni se tule sangalala umuti ma wanu tuashitisha twashitira monende So ile tule ile anda pa miti ma iyo sande ile isa tatulela nda pa kutule mitima we are talking about what god has provided for you lo le chef ya kuchitira efyo kwete echo le sale kabira uke se mutotela fi as you celebrate it should come out of you celebrating you should be generous give to others what you have So it doesn't matter if you don't have money but you have clothes. If you don't have good clothes you have shoes. Bana mayo na ma wiki twalikwata. Oyo twasunga yenge bula papya imo wiki kukese tula ukafwa ko hungi bakese mufika ko ba social wiki na wakamoneke ko bwino. So be generous on that day. The people of Risa were there so that everyone is happy everyone feels the provision of God in his or her life and he was talking about big generous he was talking about men Bimbya bakundo bali vera ku St Matthew's but abenga ba mwe bali kwata akasoso akaso Aba pera sana pali ba WCF na ba MCF ni bana ni kuno ba WCF okay So God is talking about men appearing in the presence of God standing for the family by a contention of we are pela is teaching men that they should be giving to God so that they are able to see okukupela oku be generous i'm not talking god is not taking be generous so we pela pela fie we pela pela fie what about abena mwanga bali kwate chikuku Tebana tebasi mukonda ndera nda I'm married to ena mwanga zo but kwa tafia chikuku they are generous that is their nature that is their tribe fi dia bandi abebe mba mwa beshiba fi rafine mwa beshiba aba kuchipata nawo mwa ali beshiba fi rafine mwa beshiba even the namwanga za generous but if they don't know god they become too generous even to people that they don't know They become too generous. Ngataba ishibalesa onso bakuma nyo mukashana bapera. Onse bapera. No murimendo bapera. We are not talking about that generosity. We are talking about being generous, looking at what God wants you to do even within the church and in the community where we are living. 
So when God tells them, be generous, he's telling them so that they take care of themselves because people are going to see the love of God if only we become generous to one another. When they see you giving them, they see you giving them. Yeah, we really need to think about what they think. Ah, we, but who know no pain? Ah, po, e po, who le po fimo? Who pay le konabambi? Being generous shows the godliness in us. It shows that we are children of God. Lastly, celebrating the goodness of God by supporting God's work. In Corinthians, chapter nine. Says, give according to what your heart has planned. Uko pele ukuri kana if you mutima ove, ino wa ikara mutima ove. I know this mutima of the Bible is very different from that mutima we were learning in the science. They are teachers here. They should start describing in this generation, differentiating between the mutima of the Bible and this mutima which pumps blood in our hearts, okay, in our, in our bodies. So, So I don't know if it's the brain now. This heart, you plan, whatever you have planned in your heart, when you sit down, beginning today, up to Sunday, you sit down alone, because the heart, so what is it, what does the Bible say, what does the, the, the does Paul say or interpret or communicate to us on this day is saying each one of us as long as you are breathing you have that heart in you chila muntu aipe kanyo kuringana fiyo mutima wako fole fuwa yukupe no tatawe ba mami bala mpere lako our parents will give on our behalf my spouse will give on my behalf ah ah you know they pay ma no one pays you on your behalf each one of us breathes. So when we are giving, we are talking about giving to God in supporting God's work. The people in Jerusalem, the Christian in, 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 in Corinth, they were supporting God's work in Jerusalem, their capital city. So when they were, when Paul was collecting these things and sending Titus and Timothy to go and collect the monies from the Corinthian shape, he says. But I'm telling you that out of whatever your heart has prepared, give to support God's work. So this harvest, take over to the Bashima people, you don't look at all the person, but I say, if you have a perfume, say, but I'm not going to be able to do it. The next Sunday, I'm going to be able to do it. So this harvest, we are talking about supporting God's work. As we are celebrating the goodness of God, we are there to support God's work. So plan whatever you have prepared in your heart, whether you are working or not working. Whether I need to my teachers, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Hallelujah. Whether you are there or not, whether you work, you are a widow, you are a widow, we are celebrating the goodness of God. So, if you are a widow, 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 if you No wonder, when that, that thing, that, the giving comes out of your heart, and the Bible says, God blesses the hand that giveth. Le sala pala, a chief giver. A chief giver, le sala mupala, pan chief mapamutima. A chief mapamutima, you are pera kulile sa, le sala no shokutromua, no one dinam pera, umua, no one dipacho aquete, anji mukisha. Because this celebration, it is reminding us all. There is another supreme being that takes care of us. There is something beyond us. 
na tulala kitu fingi fichitika abalo shibale pupuka bapita na pamaya nda Yesu bala tutie miti mukataka kama chito mundu tuikala epo tushitishisha ama tuya mu masikulu mu abana masata ni saba iche banensu but god has been protecting us from all these things wafuma mo fie so ulenda no kwenda indo shiro ya kumona luchero is even surprised at kushana ulia na bukalelo ese kan sifi muti fia ndita fia chibomba babi kemi tio po bombela fia kano kubomba so as we celebrate we are remembering all these things emo twa pito emo twa nyanta if you are about to suraco if you are about to chitila abalwani besu but god has been faithful That's why we celebrate because God has been there for us. That's why we celebrate and will not come empty handed because we know ukutsira that's far the Lord has brought us. Amen.